The world is heavily reliant on fossil fuels and you know simply fossil fuels are just not sustainable for our economy going forward. So there's a, you know, a real kind of incentive globally now to have this transition across to a decarbonised economy and certainly you know, wind power and renewables form a large part of that. If a turbine is down for any length of time, that obviously has a, a negative effect on the productivity of the actual turbine itself. So if it's not spinning, it's not making money and it's not making power for, for, for the millions of homes that it's required for. GV focus on wind turbine blades, making sure that they're maintained, optimal for, for producing energy. And a lot of that will involve maintaining the blades in the field. We are a pool of just around 600 contractors already interviewed that we know their skill set within our database. These contractors are now based anywhere, UK, all over Europe, and that pool is becoming a global pool. We're just checking the um, LPS receptors, lightning receptors. The work I do for GV is um, laminate repairs. A little bit like repairing a boat, just laminate repairs, fiberglass layers, and then finishing with a filler and paint. The key differentiators for us is being able to manage large complex projects that are on a utility scale. So that typically is going to involve full project management, technical support, resourcing, deploying large numbers of technicians to a particular site and then managing them through the implementation and execution of a project. So we're quick at reacting to any damages. We also have in-house expertise from our technical departments with years and years of technical knowledge within the blade industry. The outlook for GB is very promising. We've created a very commanding position in our, our marketplace, focusing solely on the, on the blade maintenance. As the industry's grown, uh, GV has grown with it. We haven't stagnated. We've actually opened offices in, in multiple countries. We've got an office in Hamburg. Uh, we've also got a, a very large office and a large presence within the United States. And now, because it's proven and the cost of energy produced from wind is, is competitive, it's just expanding out on a global basis. So, you're seeing a lot of new markets being developed in places like Australia, South Africa, Latin America. It's the same manufacturers that are supplying the turbines to those markets that are existing clients and they're looking for support in those additional markets going forward. We found the Bridges team to be very open, transparent, um, adapted with integrity throughout the process that we ran to select our new investment partner. We, we really felt the, the, the social awareness and the social impact of their, their funds and their approach was genuine. It was sincere um, and that aligned very well with our own principles and, and we're looking forward to a, a very positive collaboration over the coming years. It was a little bit windy but it was in the parameters to work so it was okay. Work for GV, I, I think it's the best job I've ever had. I get to travel, fixing blades and repairs, um, working at height, it's all exciting stuff. The key thing is, is that we're keeping the blades spinning. If we didn't do what we, we do and fix the blades, then what tends to happen is a provider may have to switch to an alternative source of energy. If look in the States, it'd be a coal-fired solution or an oil-fired solution that they may need to look, look for. So there is an impact there. In very simple terms, if the blades don't, don't spin, then we're not producing clean energy.